The Atari 7800 version of Karateka or Karateka or however you'd like to pronounce it is probably the worst video game I've ever played on the system. A game so wretchedly awful that even as a kid obsessed with anything video game related, I didn't even want to touch this with a 12 foot pole with a bottle of Geritol hanging at the end of it. This Famicom version of Karateka that we're looking at on the other hand is much nicer thanks to the controls. This is primarily due to the fact that one button punches and the other button kicks. Taking advantage of both buttons on the Famicom controller, which is something that the Atari 7800 version did not do. So the story here is simple. Young blonde karate master fights off the forces of evil karate master to save some damsel who really doesn't need any saving because she could have escaped herself, but chooses not to because she's lazy or something, I don't know. Is that degrading to women? Does anybody care? It's a video game, you punch and kick people, they all look the same, it doesn't matter, none of it matters. So this is ostensibly a one-on-one -on -one fighting game where the goal is to knock the other guy down before you're able to move onwards. The thing is, for the most part, like I said before, you're just fighting multiple copies of the same guy. Sometimes you'll fight a bird. Eventually, though, you'll meet up with the big bad. Then again, none of it matters because other than the bird, they all more or less fight the same way, only with a bit more health and a bit more skill as you progress onwards. Like I said before, this Famicom version of Karateka has a punch button and a kick button which means attempting to attack your opponent is much easier and controls more or less work the way they're supposed to. That means using the buttons in conjunction with the directional pad allows you to target and attack different parts of the body much more easily. Collision detection is not the greatest thing ever here, but it works well enough and is certainly more functional than that other version I've been playing. I wish I hadn't. Graphically speaking, Karateka is a mixed bag. On the one hand, the character animations are smooth and do a fine job of replicating that slick rotoscope motion in terms of posture and moves. And I also like the occasional cuts the game makes between the protagonist and his next opponent as they head towards their eventual confrontation. On the other hand, the characters are bland duotone characters with very little detail. The levels feel barren and empty, which says something about a game whose levels are barren and empty and the cutscenes are somewhat extraneous and repetitive. This one Atari 700 cutscene told a much better story than the multiple scenes in the Famicom version. You see, I can say nice things about the 7800 version of Karateka. And by nice things, I mean one nice thing. And by one thing, I mean I'm really stretching it here. Sound-wise, not much to say here, as there isn't much of it. You've got a couple annoying jingles that play every so often, along with this droning and equally annoying noise that plays during fights, and the sound effects are minimal spits and thumps with no audible impact. But on the other hand, the ambient sound outdoors is rather pleasant to listen to, so that's something, I suppose. Generally speaking, I don't care for Karateka. It's not my cup of coffee, so to speak, and the horrible 700 version put off any chances of my getting into this game that would serve as the precursor to Jordan Mechner's greater work, Prince of Persia. However, that having been said, this Famicom version of Karateka is, at the very least, much more tolerable than the 7800 version, if not more playable. Hell, I might even go so far to say that it's almost good in some sense. So in that regard, fans of the original computer versions might take a liking to this one, but otherwise, if you're not a fan of Karateka, have no chance of being a fan of Karateka, but you still want an ancient Famicom fighting game to play, well, there's always Yi Ar Kung Fu. That one's fun for a lark.